Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. It's like the first day in such a long time that I have like straightened or like blew my hair out straight and curled it. So I thought today really needed to be documented. I am just sitting outside with the dogs right now, enjoying the fall colors, guys. This is fall in Michigan. How beautiful is it back here? In my parents' backyard, they've got like a little creek down there and the fall colors just look beautiful so i think dude is enjoying the view as well but yeah we're just kind of sitting out here the pool is going to be getting closed this week so that'll be kind of sad if you guys have followed me on instagram then you know i pretty much would jump in the pool like every single day this summer so that'll be kind of sad once it closes, but I'm gonna head inside. I actually have a fun little haul I wanna share with you guys today. So here's my little haul and everything that I'm sharing with you guys today is from Zappos. A big thanks to them because they are sponsoring part of today's video. I love everything that I was able to pick out from there. I'm excited to share it with you guys. It will all be linked down below in the description box for you to check it out for yourself as well. Guys, I love shopping on Zappos apples because they literally have something for every person in your life shoes accessories great things for winter i was eyeing a pair of like bibbed overall snow pants which i really think i need those here for the michigan winter so many different items so many different name brands like madewell tory birch kate spade ugh just check it out for yourself but i'm going to share with you guys what i picked out first is this tote bag oh my goodness i have been eyeing this tote bag for a little bit and then when i saw zappos had it i snatched it up how cute it comes in a few different colors so this is a mark jacobs bag there's a longer strap i can put on it which is black which hooks on it does have a zipper top enclosure which is always really nice this bag actually comes in like several different sizes but i chose the mini one just because i thought i can still fit a lot in this i've seen a lot of these like sherpa bags this fall so far and i just knew i wanted one because i just think it's kind of fun so like i said it does come in a few different colors but mark jacobs so it is like a designer bag i love it it would even look really nice with what i have on today i can hook on the longer strap as well to make it like a crossbody or something. I love this. I just think it's so fun for fall and winter. Another thing I picked out were some jeans and these are actually Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. I was surprised I did not know that Zappos carried Abercrombie items. I love their denim, I've talked about it a million times. I feel like every single video I'm talking about how much I love Abercrombie's denim. So these are called the Skinny High Rise, but these are just a nice black pant. They have a raw hem and then they have like this little slit on the front, which I think is really adorable if you have cute boots on or something. The amount of beautiful boots I saw on Zappos, like guys, there were so many boots that I was tempted to get. I ended up not getting any shoes this time because I kind of have a shoe addiction. <laughs> I got some really great pieces for fall and winter. Next, I grabbed this Free People shirt. I love Free People shirts because they're always really unique and just nice little staple pieces that you can layer with a nice vest or something. This I liked because it had the little mock neck at the top. And then how cool is this sleeve detail on this shirt? Free people, I feel like they're kind of known for having like really unique sleeve detail. So I thought this would be really pretty for the fall, like tucked into some jeans with some boots. My bag, like this is just, let's get it all in the frame here. This is gonna be good. Okay, the last thing I picked out was this Levi jacket. I have like three or four Levi jackets. I feel like I buy one every fall or winter. I just really like them. But this is the one I got this year. It's a little bit cropped, which you guys know. I love my cropped items. It had the fun Sherpa detail on it. 
which we know I love that too but yeah I just thought this was fun for fall and winter it's like a little bit oversized I got it in an extra small um, so you can tell it's like oversized, but it has like this really fun detail here on the sleeves in the collar. So I'd probably pair this with like the black jeans, really cute boots. Literally this bag again. I'm probably going to get a ton of use out of this bag. When I placed my Zappos order, I actually signed up for the Zappos VIP program, which is completely free. Really no reason why you shouldn't be signed up for the VIP program because you can earn rewards, you get free expedited shipping, free returns. All of my items got here extremely fast. You can also connect your account with your Amazon account for even more perks. They offer a 365 day return policy, which I feel like is kind of unheard of nowadays. They offer discounts for military, students, teachers, which I love that too. So if you guys have not been shopping on Zappos already, check it out. Links will be down below in my description box, like I said. Thanks again to Zappos for sponsoring part of today's video. And let's go ahead and get on with the rest of today's vlog. I just got back from the grocery store and I thought it would be fun to share with you guys a mini haul. I didn't get that many things because we weren't out of a ton of things. But I thought I would show you guys a few staples that we keep in the house. These almond flour crackers. Hopefully the lighting is okay. Um, it's just been kind of gloomy today, so the lighting has been very hard. These with tuna. Josh and I both eat tuna pretty much. Well, he eats it every day. I eat maybe a couple times a week. But the crackers with tuna, very delicious. And then I always get oven roasted chicken breast, a pound of it. I'll do this with like a corn tortilla and just a slice of thin sliced Kobe Dot cheese. And literally just heat it up and that's how I do that. I thought we would do tacos or some sort of like Mexican meal this week maybe like tostadas because there are tostada shells in there or nachos or something like that we typically do some sort of like mexican meal once a week but we'll change it up every week like we'll do hard tacos one week soft tacos one week nachos fajitas something like that like at least once a week so i got some ground beef a tomato, avocado, we have a big thing of bananas here, the essentials, peanut butter, and Nutella. Nutella, delicious. Sour cream for taco night. These are my favorite razors. I love these. these I've been buying these for years. They're the best. Um, what else? oh, this is the chapstick I've been getting for years too, but I've noticed my lips are just so dry now that the weather's changing. This Revlon Kiss, it's the best because it has like these exfoliating beads in it and it's just, I bought two and I already opened one and put it on. It just feels so nice on your lips. Sugar-free creamer. I use this every morning. We've got pretzels, tortilla chips and some dog treats my dogs love these little dream bone treats one more thing i got that is not food related i got a couple of mums we were at my parents cabin this past weekend and my mom had mums on the front porch and i just thought it looked really cute for fall so i thought i should get a couple for here because literally the only fall decor they have out <laughs> is this photo of me when i was little how adorable is the unibrow so yeah it's kind of hilarious because that's literally the only fall decor <laughs> that's out but these are the mums i got it's really dark in here so i'm gonna put these on the porch and i think they'll just be cute these were only 4.99 um they're not huge, but they look cute. I was going to put them in those pots, but I think the pots are too big for the mums. But add the little fall out here, and I think it looks nice. The lighting is never that great in the evening when I'm in the kitchen, but you get the idea. So I'm getting some dinner started tonight. This is another really easy dinner. I feel like all the dinners that I make are pretty simple. But we get this from Schwann's. I don't know if Schwann's is something that is all over the United States or 
Actually, I should look into that. But we ordered this from Schwann. It's like a delivery, a home delivery type thing. So this is their Italian style chicken breast fillets. They are so good. We have had these the past couple of weeks. And I have four left in this bag, so honestly I'm probably gonna make all of them so we have like leftovers and stuff because we love them so much. Their chicken is just really, really good. I'm just gonna bake these and then just kind of do like a sort of a healthier version of like a pasta night, but it's still pretty carb heavy, I guess, because this is breaded. I'm doing cauliflower noodles for myself, which honestly, I feel like these, to me, they taste like regular noodles. Like I don't even notice anything. Joshua doesn't like really care for them, but I've gotten him down to gluten-free noodles. So that's a little bit better than like the regular noodles. Are. And then I'll just add a little bit of pasta sauce. This is our favorite. This is the Italian sausage and garlic. This one is our favorite. I'm getting this started. The past couple of nights I've just been wanting some sort of dessert and we don't really have many desserts in the house right now. So I was thinking about making some peanut butter cookies. So I also have the easiest peanut butter cookie recipe that I'll share with you guys in just a little bit. But I'm gonna get this started and we'll go from there. We have a lot going on. Chicken is in the oven. I've got a heat up pasta sauce. We've got gluten free noodles and then cauliflower noodles. Just trying to make sure those don't bubble over because literally every time I make noodles, they always do. Going to get my peanut butter cookies kind of ready here. It's literally just one cup of peanut butter, one egg, and one cup of sugar. Easiest recipe ever. Just mix it all together and then bake in the oven for like nine, 10 minutes at 350. And I should have bought some Hershey Kisses or something to put on these, but whatever, I forgot to do that. Okay, what did you just say about this meal? It's top three favorite meals. Top three, yeah. I was eating and she said I was gonna be recorded, so I I still... know, I was going to <laughs> record it, but he has already gone ham. Okay, I'll show you guys mine in there. But we have our chicken, our noodles, The spoon really doesn't get very much. <laughs> I know, I took like 18 spoons fulls, spoons okay. fulls, spoonfuls. Did you get any green beans? Not yet. No. Okay, yes, I just did canned green beans, so just, just roll with it, people. Okay, so here's our finished dinner, our favorite dinner right now. So we're gonna eat, and then I'll show you guys our peanut butter cookies. Here's the cookies. Whoa. Whoa. Here's the cookies. Normally, I take a fork and press them. This is the first time I just kind of did balls because I was thinking, well, if I had Hershey Kisses, I would put the Hershey Kiss in the middle at the end, but we have a Hershey bar. Oh. So I might just like set a piece. We really needed that like peanut butter and chocolate combo. Yes. You should have put chocolate chips in those. Oh, I can still do it at the end when you're done. I decided that they're gonna be done because I, I feel like just sitting out of the oven, they're already starting to flatten a little bit. So since we don't have the Hershey Kisses, I'm using this Hershey bar. Ooh, cute. Oh my goodness, that's really cute. Hopefully they're done. Oh boy. Okay, I think I'm just gonna let them sit for a little bit. And maybe they'll just keep kind of baking on the pan. It's officially time to try the cookies. Joshua's preparing his lactate milk. <laughs> Yum. So they should be all cooled off by now. They look really good. I think 
we put them in long enough. So I'm excited to try one. Oh. That was dude, not me. <laughs> Dude's <laughs> favorite thing is peanut butter. Poor thing. Sorry, buddy. You can't have one. You can't. <laughs> Tail play. Okay. Ready? Hopefully they're good. They're very good. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you guys end up trying this really easy peanut butter cookie recipe. I want to say my grandma gave it to me when I was like 10 probably. So I've been making this exact recipe of peanut butter cookies forever. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you did like it. <laughs> subscribe if you're new or haven't subscribed yet and i will see you very soon in the next video look i see dude's tail <laughs> hey dude <laughs> what doing um bandit he's being so foot back there <laughs>